Okay, in this video I'm going to do another example of solving a projectile problem using quadratics. So, suppose we have Ellen here and she kicks a stone off the edge of a tall cliff. And suppose we know that the distance d between the rock and the ground t seconds after being kicked is d equals negative 16 t squared minus 6 t plus 480. Suppose d here is measured in feet. And we want to know how many seconds elapse before the rock is at a height of 424 feet above the ground. Okay, so again, you know, notice um, if you plug in, if you plug in t equals zero into this equation, uh, notice the first two terms would go away, we would get 480. So to me that tells me that the cliff must be 480 feet tall originally. Okay, so we want this stone to, to fall off the cliff, and we want to know how long does it take before it's 424 feet still above the ground. Okay, so again, to do this, all we really have to do is we want the distance to be 424. So all I'm going to do is in my equation here, I'm just going to replace the D with 424, so on the left side. And again, now I've just got a quadratic equation that hopefully won't be completely miserable to solve. Okay, so again with quadratics we make one side zero. So I'm going to subtract 424 from both sides. So we have negative 16 t squared minus 6t plus, let's see, 480 minus uh, 424 I believe that's going to give us 56. And, okay, so I'm still not sure. You can try playing with numbers. I'm not sure exactly how this factors. But what I'm going to do to make the numbers a little bit better is I'm going to notice that all of these numbers are even. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide everything by 2 or equivalently multiply by 1 half. But actually to get rid of the negative, I think what I'm going to do is multiply by negative one-half. If I do that on the left, negative uh, one-half times zero is still zero. So let's see, negative 16 divided by negative two would be eight t squared. Uh, negative six divided by negative two would be positive three t. And let's see, positive 56 divided by negative two, I believe that would be negative 28. Okay, so again, maybe this thing still factors nicely. Um, I'm not positive if it does. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and use the quadratic formula. So again, A is the value positive 8. B is the value positive 3. C is going to have the value negative 28. So in the quadratic formula, we'll get negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2 times a again in this case which is 8 so these are going to be our values for t so now just a little bit of tedious arithmetic we've got negative 3 plus or minus the square root so 3 squared is simply going to be 9 Let's see, we've got negative 4 times 8, so that's going to be negative 32. And then we have to multiply that by negative 28. In the denominator, we have 2 times 8, which is 16. So at this point, we've got t equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9. Um, I'm going to cheat here a little bit and use a calculator. So let's see, if we take negative uh, 32 times negative 28, I'm getting that to be positive 896, sorry about the delay there for a second, over 16, so we're getting a little bit closer. That's negative 3 plus or minus, okay, so 896 plus 9, um, that would be 905 when we add that over 16. And again, to our quadratic equation, we have two solutions. One of the solutions will be negative 3 minus uh, square root of 905 over 16. 
But notice here the numerator is going to be negative, the denominator is positive. Um, although that's a solution to the quadratic, again, we don't want our times to be negative. So it says the solution to our equation is going to be t equals negative 3. We'll use positive square root of 9, 0, 5. We'll divide all that by 16. And again, what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to approximate the square root of uh, 905. So I'm going to use a calculator again here real quick. So let's see, 905. If we do the square root of that, I'm getting that. So I'm getting the square root of 905 to be roughly equal to, I'm going to round it to 30.08. Okay. So really it says t is going to be negative 3 plus 30.08 divided by 16. So if we take uh, this uh, 30.08, if we subtract away 3, I'm getting, uh, well obviously 27.08 over 16. But what this reduces to is going to be, I'm getting 1.6925 as my answer. So roughly 1.7 seconds later. So 1.7 seconds after kicking the stone off the cliff is when it's going to be at a height of 424 feet above the ground.